Good morning on Monday. Coffee squash meds. Mm -hmm. Mom shouting at the cat. Me still with yesterday's makeup on. It's going to look great in the pool later when it goes down my face. And yes, I have had a haircut. I've had a haircut. It is a bit messy today. I'm a bit messy every day. What can I do, Lou? Put more effort in? No. As if. Um, right. I do have 19 things going out on eBay and four going out on Etsy, I think, um, which sounds like a lower number than last weekend. It is, but that's because this is only Saturday afternoon and Sunday because I did a load Saturday morning. I did indeed. So there we go. Um, not much to report back with. Didn't win in the quiz yesterday. Shit team, obviously. Um, must do better next time. And that's it. I haven't really been anywhere or done anything. Exciting stuff. Anyway, so today I am going to do post. Take a wander into town, I think. Wander around some shops. To see some stuff because I haven't been out for a few days. Come back, have swim, do some listing, have dinner, chill. I think that's my plans for today. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Um, I did have a little bit of a not pig out yesterday, but basically I got the munchies and I was like, oh, I want some cheese and some ham and some corned beef and some pickle so i ate more than what i intended to eat yesterday um and had a few rums as well but hey it's the weekend it's fine back at it today i have lost an amount of weight this week good you know um and i shall am i gonna do i might do like a video about it for Tuesday on Tuesday, somewhere around time around about Tuesday ish. Okay, just you know, <laughs> yeah, if people are interested. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna be back in a little bit with what has sold Saturday afternoon and evening and Sunday. And if I've had any sales this morning, it's quite quiet on the bay yesterday. I think it's because, um, Everyone else was doing like Black Friday weekend kind of deals, Cyber Monday stuff. And so they were all buying that stuff rather than, than my stuff, which is rude. Anyways, yep. Um, see you in a bit with what's sold. Okay, so here's what's going out today. A two kilogram bag of costume jewellery. 17 pounds and nine pence, including post. This really weird quantum... Quantum Scala Energy Pendant. I've got no idea. It's some kind of magnet thing or it's got some uranium in it or something. I don't freaking know. I remember having to change the title of it. So I changed it, like, basically I took a letter out of quantum and replaced it with an apostrophe. Because it wouldn't let me put quantum in the title in case of, like, weird substances. Which there may be in there. However, it is, of course, also going on GSP to somewhere. So it might get stopped. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what if it is radioactive? Anyways, and to lovely rest, regular customer, customer goes this sterling silver necklace for £11.19. Hello. Um, another one going abroad. Little job lot of Scottish themed brooches there. Went £14.99 at auction. Was thinking that there may be a little bit more attention on that, but never mind. That's okay. This sterling silver and mother of pearl, little kind of Celtic knot sort of ring, that went for £9. These super cute little moonstone stud earrings went for £9.99. Another job lot of costume jewellery. And some filigree floral, 800 silver uh, screw back earrings went for £9.59. Four Jeff Banks Vintage 90s mugs, these ones, uh, it's called Ports of Call, and 
set of four went for £28. This retro puff heart kind of chunky chain bracelet, £6.50. Another job lot of costume jewellery. Chunky yellow bangle. Seems a little bit like um, asymmetric. Uh, that was a fiver. Chunky curb chain necklace, just silver tone, £9.59. Sterling silver Canadian maple leaf pin, uh, like a tie pin or tie tack, ten ninety nine on that one. Um, another one to a regular customer. Hello, hello. Is this cute little diamond shaped pendant, sterling silver necklace, and that went for twelve pounds. This um, gold over silver, kind of very um, artisan. Shall we say bangle with a raw emerald in there that went for $33.59. Some abalone cufflinks, vintage cufflinks, $7.99. Sterling silver, lovely floral vine, like half a uh, half finger ring, went for £19. It's quite a random one. Vintage US Army 65th Air Defense Artillery Regiment DUI pin or cap badge. It's this little light lion dude. Yeah, there we go. It's a vintage US cap pin that went for nine pounds. And then over on Etsy, I have sold this white and blue stone sterling silver ring, this green stone earrings, um, a little cameo, and an amber necklace. They're funny with amber on Etsy. It has to be over or under a certain size. I think that one's fine. So there we go. Anyways, I'm going to package this stuff up and then um, probably going to head on out actually because, yeah, it's not raining. In fact, I can see blue skies. Um, through the taxi. And I feel I'm going home. Anyways, um, yeah, pack this up and then we'll probably head on into town. Yeah, no, sounds all right, doesn't it? Good job, good job. Hey, so, post is done. Just heading into town, gonna have a mooch. Um, however, there is a cat coming up. Look, he's a little street cat. Say hello. Hello, kitty. Hello. It's okay. Hi. Hello. Oh, are you lovely? I bet you're good at catching rats, eh? Aww. It is actually impossible for me to walk past the cat and not try and stroke it, by the way.
Right, that's shopping done. I bought a load of stuff. I don't know whether to take it all to the pool with me and then struggle with it home or drop it off on the way. Hmm. I am here at the pool. They managed to, um, oh well, I got on the bus. Yay, they come straight past. I managed to leave my stuff at reception. I am gonna take my makeup off my face, put some of this uh, swim cap stuff on my hair um, to help keep the dye in and then get in the pool. And yay, my pool is empty. Awesome. Hey, that's quite bright, isn't it? Anyways, swim done, done a kilometer, yay. Hello, little bobbin. Oh, hi, Grandpa. Mm. Yeah, I was going to take a seat while I um, wait for the bus back, but I don't want to move the little Robin. I don't want to scare him off. Oh, back home. Time for a coffee, and then I'll show you what I bought today. Oh, I am pooped. Hmm. Hello, kitten. Can you come say hello? And then come say hello oh this one she's an absolute bugger a complete bugger so much that we almost that we're, we're like should we give her away to someone no we, we're not gonna do that but you are such a twat you're a twatty catty you are but you know she's a kitten she can't help but do annoying kitten stuff in it hey you're no Azumi, but you are kind of cute. You are. She's just like, she kind of flops and you have to catch her. Come here. You little purry girly. Anyways, I've got a haul to do. Come on now. Here we go. Okay, right. So I did buy a lot of clothing today. I will show you non-clothing first. Obviously, um, well, I've got like six bits of jewellery, I think, seven bits. I'm going to show them in um, a Sparkly Things video. I also just got a couple of thimbles because they were cute. 50p for a little owl and then like a flowery one. There we are. I've got this vintage, I think it is Mele. Yeah, M-E-L-E product of Thai, like, Taiwan. Taiwan. Nice vintage jewellery box. It is missing like a little pop-on. Um, pouch there but it's nice and it's got a drawer at the bottom there's a cat in a bag right now of course you're in a bag anyways so that's quite nice I was three pounds fifty I spent 3.99 on this little Kelly bag look you can see yourself in there um, it's quite nice it's by a brand called Fassbender is that right Yep, fast bender made in England, nice condition on the inside. Plus, it's got its original mirror still in like the little bit of paper. Um, I'm thinking leather, I'm hoping patent leather, patent leather. It's got a few marks to it, like scratches to the leather and stuff, but it still is quite smart, isn't it? Quite smart. So, is that um, oh, and I got a couple of little bits. Um, just 50p, some little hand warmers, because, you know, they're useful. These John Deere collectible playing cards. So, if you like tractors, those are the cards for you. Right, clothing. A lot of clothes. Okay, so bear with. Right, this dress, obviously more suited for the summer months. Um, by a brand called Cara. I spent four pounds on it, but it's made in India. Um, it's 100% cotton and it's this button down front, very 90s, very 90s pattern as well. So yeah, that was four pounds. That's quite cool. Right, I bought this just because I liked it. It's, it's a handmade, hand knitted top and I bought it for three pound fifty, but I thought it's so fab and grunge. I actually quite like it. So I might try it on, I don't know, but I just really liked it. That was £3.50. That might be for me, we shall see. What is probably for me is this skirt. This is like a kind of faux pleather-ish kind of skirt. This was £3.50 as well, just past knee length. 
work. So I shall try that on in a bit. I think that's from two, two, two Sainsbury's. This might be a little bit of a dud because I don't think they go for much anymore, but leather waistcoats used to be a thing. It's only leather fronted though. But I spent a fiver on that, but I might have spent a little bit too much. I mean, I'm not going to lose on it, but it's still, you know, they used to really go, but not so much anymore. All right, I've got a bunch of Italian made, kind of 1970s, 80s tops, men's tops, four pounds each by Gabici. Gabici. This is probably the best one of it. It's very kind of like, um, sort of Fred Perry-ish, kind of sports casual sort of look, but definitely like 1970s Vespa wearing, Vespa wearing, Vespa riding tops. So there's that one. Got this one in a mustard colour. Mustard. Um, this one is like a beige and blue one with a little brown, is it brown? No, navy blue, navy blue stripe in it and a blue stripe. And then a jumper, I think the jumper was also four pounds, this nice red jumper. I don't think, I don't think it's wool, it doesn't feel like wool, it's probably acrylic. Oh no, 50% wool, 50% acrylic. There you go. So some vintage Italian jumpers. Oh, this is quite a random one. I bought this for a pound. This I think is a belt because like these bits come through. So I'm presuming you can like tie, but it looks, it's gorgeous. See this beaded bit here? And I think it's backed onto leather. So I don't know if it's like a could you do that or is it a belt? I'm gonna say belt. And you can't. No, it's a bit silly, isn't it? But yeah, I'm gonna say belt on that one. There you go. Uh, this is a Nomad's top. I thought it would be um, a little bit more money than, than it is. I only spent £2.50 on it, but it's quite pleasant. I should get more than £2.50 for it, but Nomad's not so much. A thing anymore which is a shame but there we are another red thing this is from white stuff a size 14 um but it's quite a long top with pockets is in this like velvet i'm gonna see if mum wants that because she might want to wear that for christmas she might like that but yeah how much was that that was a fiver the biggest um one purchase today was this for 12 pounds 12 pounds it's a roman originals dress this lovely dress it's got boning in the corset and then all of this netting underneath it's a size 10 and it also comes with like a shawl as well and i think that's again that's quite 90s isn't it like with a ball gown thing and the netting over like the, the sort of satiny thing, fabric. So I hope for about 40 odd on that. And then the last two bits are two vintage dresses, uh, which are quite cute. So a little like shift dress. This is a handmade one, 1960s probably. It's got this little like bow detail to the sleeve or shoulder in this kind of floral gold fabric. That's quite nice. That was five, I think. Yeah, five pounds for that one. And then the last one is a very cool vintage dress in this like green faux leather snake skin. Don't know if you can see that. It's by a brand called Hobby, which I've never heard of. This one was six pounds 50, but I just thought it was super cool. It's like, very clingy, ruched, rather fabulous party dress. So yeah, so I'm thinking I've done okay today. Oh, sorry, and two mugs as well, two Christmas mugs. So this is uh, Marks and Spencer's Penny Bazaar Christmas scenes. They were 50 pence each. So from St. Michael and their porcelain. So I'll sell the two of them off together. But yeah, there's my haul. 
my cat is now attacking all of my pants that are drying on the dryer over there. So that's great. She's an absolute twat, honestly. Those are my knickers. Tyrant. Anyways. What you doing, kitten? You in a bag? And now you're playing with my pants. Oh, she got a pom-pom. You like your pom-pom? Huh? So yeah, I'll just show you my bum. She loves that pom-pom. Right, gotta get some listing done quickly so my auctions for tonight. So this is what I've picked out. I've got a little citrine necklace there and then a citrine um, beaded one. This little kind of banded agate, so pretty. A couple of bead cluster ones, that's got some pearls in it. And that's got a cool little splat shape. And then that's got a bit of mother of pearl. A little marker seat cross. A little bit of southwestern style. And a chunky beaded one. They're chunky. And then this really unusual chain. So they're all getting listed for tonight's auctions. Right, for dinner, I'm attempting to do some like air fried courgettes. So I've cut them up into little bands and sprayed, the, sprayed them with a little bit of fry light. And then I'm going to dunk them in some parmesan now and some of this Lodo Southern style coating. So oof, we'll see what happens. And I'll be having that with a seriously low carb tandoori pizza, which is in there. Wow, beast. So yeah, this is 517 calories and oh, I can't remember how many carbs, 20 grams of carbs, I think. I've got some um, low carb, like sugar-free barbecue sauce as well. Hmm. These are nice. I could have left them in a bit longer. Um, to properly crisp up. But they're really good. So just trying on the things I've sort of bought for myself. This is the skirt. I quite like. It's cool. It's like literally just, just past the knee. And now I'm going to try the jumper on, but we'll see about that one. And this is the jumper. I think I'll keep it. I like it. It's so lovely and soft. Obviously not to wear with this skirt. But yeah, it's cute. Mm -hmm. I appear to be having a few runs in the pub. Okay, so I've just had a couple of little drinkies in the coach, because, you know, why not? One of the regulars there asked me to um, sell some Ulster for him. You know, like, commission will go 50-50 and stuff. So he's given me these things to sell um, that he's inherited and he's got no use for. Um, so we've got some um, silver-plated, like, my mum thinks grapefruit spoons. They're quite pretty. Stuart pattern by Ashbury. They're quite nice. And then we've got some, um, I'm going to say like trifle like spoons and then that. So they're all silver plated. And then these two sets are absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. So these are solid silver, fully hallmarked. Look at those handles. Aren't they absolutely stunning? Little coffee spoons. Beautiful. I think I checked the date on those and they were 1938, I think. Stunning. And then these are my favourite ones. In this lovely little like photo shelf. Oops, oh and they all come out obviously. Though. Put them all back in. But look at these. Gioche enamel handles, solid silver, with hallmarks on as well. Oh, these are the 1938 ones. Aren't they beautiful? With, that was when they got married, so it was their um, wedding present in 1946. Isn't that absolutely lovely? So beautiful. So yeah, there'll probably be some Sunday auctions for this week if anyone is interested. Yay. Right, that's it for me for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. I shall see you again later in the week. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.